And so to decorate it, I took my brushed paper pack and I decided I wanted these two, these long pieces on the outside to be a different color than the two pieces on the inside. So um, I actually ran out of one of my paper packs. Um, so I'm gonna make these different colors. Um, the first two, I'm gonna give you the dimensions on these. The first two are one inch by three and a quarter to go here. So I've cut these out in green for this particular piece. And these are gonna go in the middle right here. So again, they are one inch by three and three quarter long. So I am gonna glue these down. And I am just gonna put them right here on the longest part on the edges. Okay. Now, the outside pieces are going to go on these two outside areas right here. It'll be one on this side and one on the ed edge. And they are one and three quarter inches wide by five and a quarter inches long. And see how these, the brush paper pack is. Um, it's a print on one side and then it's a different print on the other so it's kind of cool and then the green I should have showed the green but the green is like a it's uh, different colors of pink uh, meshed together Let's see if I have another one it's kind of the um, oh what do you call it with the little circles in it it looks like this can't remember what it's called and then this is the green on the opposite page so really a beautiful paper pack if you get a chance to order it you should it's I made lots and lots of things with it even scrapbook pages with it it's awesome okay so I like the flowery look since it's Mother's Day so I'm gonna use the flowery side of this paper and again it is one and three quarter inches by five and a quarter inches. So I'm going to glue this one down on the front. And then this last piece will go on the outside, or I'm sorry, on the back side of this card. Hard to decide which way is up. Okay. Now, and there's that part. Now, the white middle piece, I stamped Happy Mother's Day with the Versa Mark, and then I used the gold, the uh, silver embossing powder that I just got at Hobby Lobby, um, and then the embossing heat tool. And then it just made it kind of glittery. I thought that was pretty. Okay, so that is made. I used the red to bring out more of the red in the card. Okay, so the red, you'll cut two and three quarter by three and three quarter. And then the white that goes on top of it is cut at two and a half by three and a half. So I am going to glue these together before I stamp them. Just makes it easier. Well, come on, get in the right spot. Okay. And this is going to go here on the card. Like I said, I use the red just to bring out the red in the flowers. Okay, so 
Now I'm using the Mother's Day stamp in the occasions. It is stamp number C1577. Really cute stamp. It's got a couple of sayings on there along with Happy Mother's Day. And let's see, I put it like this so you can see it better. And then it's got some women, different types of women. Uh, and one's in a hat, one's security cake. The other one looks like she might be dancing. Um, it's got some cute little quotes on there. So uh, I'm just going to use the Happy Mother's Day stamp. And I am going to stamp this with Versamark, which is kind of like an invisible ink. Uh, it is specially made for stamping or for embossing. Um, I'm rubbing this on my arm because I season it that way. It's just, it, it helps you to get a better stamp if the stamps are new. And I have used this once or twice, but I just do it anyway just to make sure I don't miss a bad stamp. Okay, so as you can see, the Versamark is just clear. Um, this ink is from the previous time I used this stamp. It was such a dark ink, it did not want to come off. Okay, so I'm just going to eyeball it. I like to measure it in my little grid here so I can kind of keep it straight and even. I'm just going to stamp it. Okay. And then I'm going to use my silver embossing powder. It is Zing. Zing embossing powder is the name of this. So I'm just going to put some, just kind of generously pour it. Not too much, but to cover all the letters. And then you can just kind of bend it and then tap it back into the bottle. Seems to always leave some on there. And then be sure and put the lid back on because this is glitter and it will go everywhere if you don't. Okay, and then I have a little brush but be careful because you could brush the words right off of there. This is just an old makeup brush and um, I don't want to get too much in there. Just kind of tap and brush off the excess off the edges. Okay, and then I take my heating tool. You'll be able to tell the difference. And there's my happy mother's day. Let's see if I can zoom that. A little closer. Whoops, wrong direction. Okay. Okay, so that's going to go there. So I am going to glue that down. And after a minute or two, it's okay to push that, push on that, it won't hurt it. Alright, then we'll just center this like so. And there you have it. You can put some another des decoration on the front and the back in the empty spots. On any of the empty spots, really. Um, on this one, and I didn't cut out any extra because I was down to the last of my paper pack, but on this one, I use the Cameo from the Artiste Cricut cartridge that you can only get it from close to my heart. And it looks like that's the end for me today. So thank you for watching, and I hope you come back for more tutorials. So I use the Cameo on the front and the back with different colors. And I, you, I cut it from the Cricut cartridge, Artiste, which you can only get it from Close to My Heart. It's a Close to My Heart Cricut cartridge. And you can also get that at my website, 
www.craftaddictstudio.ctmh.com. Well, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope you go and make a beautiful card for your mother, and have a special Mother's Day, and thank you for watching.